these things develop inside humans on other planets mm -hmm. and then kill you when they emerge. Yes, it attacked me. Like it wrapped the thing wrapped around my neck and I was like, ah! I hate them. They drive me nuts. They get in my hair, they get in my clothes. Uh, I was shocked when I moved this state that they were everywhere. I wish they'd respect my space like I respect theirs. They're copious. A nuisance. They're disgusting. The species, if you want it, is Alsophila cometaria. But around here, it doesn't happen every year. It's like every couple of years, we get a mass of what everyone calls little green worms. They have a preference for elm, oak. Those are the two big ones around here. And they will have fully developed. And then when they're fully developed and they've eaten all they can eat, and they're in their last stage of what we might call caterpillarhood, they drop down on their silks again uh, to, the, to reach the ground. And then they burrow under the ground, and they make a pupa. It's kind of like a butterfly chrysalis, but not quite. And then they'll stay in the pupa until fall. Then they emerge as a moth, the male and the female mate. And in the fall canker worm, the female will then lay her eggs, well, she'll try to climb up the trunk, and if she hits a sticky band, she'll die. But if she makes it up there, she'll lay her eggs up high in the tree, on the bark, I think, usually. And then she'll die and the eggs will overwinter and hatch in spring, and each little larva that hatches from an egg will then spin its silk, fly through the air, and try to get to another place to eat, because you don't want everybody continuing to eat on the same tree. And that's why you see, about two weeks ago, we saw those silks everywhere, and those were the, the little, tiny, hatchling caterpillars. And then as soon as they find a good edible tree, they'll just stay there and eat the foliage until they reach the last stage of caterpillarhood and there you are again. So it's just one uh, generation per year. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they'll turn into wingless moths, female, or winged males. So the males fly around, find the females, and mate with them. But mm -hmm. they are, they are going to be a, a geometric moth, a moth of the family geometric. This whole mess will be over in about five weeks from the original all it takes to continue is for one female and one male to successfully produce a replacement for themselves. So they'll lay hundreds of eggs. There's a tremendous amount of early mortality. But if everything works as planned, at least two progeny will survive. The invasion is succeeded. They get everybody. There's nothing you can do.